Hi everybody, this is Kurt Hollowell with another tutorial on our audio visualizer tool. Um, today I want to talk about the circle waveform. So if you want to follow along and you have the tool, you can go to this audio visualizer, scenes, and circle. I'll go ahead and play this real quick. So what's happening here is these circle waveform scripts are moving objects around in circles and then up and down with the frequency of the music. So you can get some cool effects that you might want to use as a background, or in this case, this kind of looks like a flower in your game. Anything like that. Just, okay. So, um, let's go ahead and look at these scripts. You can see I've broken this down into purple, yellow, red, another yellow, and a green. Each one of these objects has a circle waveform script attached to it. And if you open one of these up, um, this is the uh, set of purple effects, and it just has three identical objects in here, each with a particle system and a trail renderer. So if you look at that in the scene, here it is, it's just emitting some particles, and then uh, it has a trail renderer attached to it. So um, let's go ahead and look at this script now. Uh, it, first of all, it has this audio source index. That's basically saying which audio source in our audio sampler do we want to listen to. Uh, in this case, our audio sampler will just have one audio source playing that this song called The Rest of the Town. So that's the audio we're listening to, and we're also listening it to it in this frequency range. Right now, it's just the decibel, which is the raw frequency data. And then we have this sensitivity parameter, which is like how much do we move up and down. It's basically a multiplier onto the um, audio to get really big waveform or a really small waveform. Uh, right here we have a list of objects that we want to move in a circle. So any public objects that you just drag and drop in here will be moved around and up and down in a circle with the music. And then finally we have a few parameters like rotation speed, radius, and lerp speed. Uh, rotation speed is just how fast we move objects in a circle. You could have a negative speed here if you want to move things in the other direction. And uh, we have a radius, how big is that's pretty straightforward. And then lerp speed, uh, if you're not familiar, you can look up vector3.lerp. It's basically um, how fast do we transition from the current position of each object to the desired position of each object. Uh, and then finally, we have this Boolean use waveform. So right now I'm on the purple objects. If I turn this use waveform off, it's just going to move them in a circle. You can see here, it's just moving these three particles in a circle. When I turn use waveform on, it's actually going to use the waveform to adjust the radius. Finally, I want to go over um, the circle waveform has a public method called bump. So I'm going to check out our audio listeners. We've got two audio listeners here. This bottom one is uh, calling uh, circle waveform dot bump on three of these um, circles. Each one of these circle waveforms is basically the same as the purple one we talked about. They just have different parameters for rotation speed and radius, and they have different objects under them. You can see this one has a yellow particle with a yellow trail. So that's how I had all these different effects. Um, the circle waveform bump method basically adjusts the radius of the, um, of the circle every time you call this bump method. So let's go ahead and look at maybe this green one. I'll go ahead and hit play. So um, here's a green one, these green particles around the outside. And uh, you can see this radius is changing every time there's a beat that's detected, and which is causing this big shift in its position. Now the bump method also has a boolean variable which if you set to true will also switch the sign of the radius giving you this effect where all the objects cross the middle really quick. So I can change that for all of them. Or none of them. Yeah. So that's basically it. That's the circular waveform. Moves objects in a circle and up and down with the music. Um, really quick, here is our website, doggydoggames.com, where you can check out our other games or tools, as well as get support. 
Um, and finally, here's the audio visualizer tool. If you don't have it yet, it's on the Unity Asset Store. And, uh, and that's it. I hope that helped, and I hope you make some awesome stuff with these sort of waveforms. Have a good one.